what's going on? It's your boy Miles Cunningham with another reaction. Here we go. I heard someone say, it's so crazy how a woman can walk into a room with 10 different guys, showering her with compliments, telling her how beautiful and amazing she is, offering her everything they got, treating her like an absolute queen. Then all of a sudden, there's this 11th guy who simply just walks in, says hi to her, turns his back, and go talks to his boys. And surprisingly, that's the guy the woman will choose. Makes perfect sense to me. I mean, that, that's pretty much how it goes. I mean, first of all, before we even get into the female dynamic, understand that uh, humans humans always want what is what is more of a challenge, right? Because our souls require us to go through different experiences, right? Your soul kind of motivates you to go through things, to go through ups and downs of life, to go through different experiences, because that's literally the spice of life, right? That is the flavor of life, going through experiences. So when things come easy to a human being, they don't appreciate it as much, you understand? And that goes double when it comes to females, right? It goes double when it comes to females. When, when a woman gets what she wants super easy, whatever she gets, does not hold any value but when she has the ability to experience some sort of emotion with it it causes her to think about the object of her desire and value it a lot more you understand so that's pretty much how it works with this she walks into the room with with you know with the with the 10 guys and all of them are giving her attention compliments everything you understand and then truth be told a woman knows that she's attractive a woman knows that that's her basic purpose right a woman knows that her basic purpose is to acquire attention from the opposite sex using her beauty that's why they're made that way this is why god and nature made women this way they she, the god and nature gave women curves and you know beauty and certain other things they're softer than us they're softer than men right their body is shaped differently in general right and that's because based on nature, we're put here to procreate, right? We're put here to be sexually and physically attracted to these creatures. And so we can procreate and keep the world going. You see what I'm saying? So a woman being physically attractive is nothing impressive. So you going up, like all these guys that be on, on uh, Instagram telling chicks how they look and, oh my God, I drink your bath water. And all. It really doesn't mean anything. That's why she doesn't respond. You understand? That's exactly why she doesn't respond. So in the room of the 10 guys who's showering her with compliments, she realizes that all these guys are the same. You understand? She's not going to think about them. But the guy that comes in, says hello, and turns his back to her and goes talk to go talk to his boys, he's different. He has her thinking now. You know, back in the day, you know, one of these things is not like the other. You know what I'm saying? One of these things just doesn't belong. Can you tell which thing is not like the other before I finish my song? So, <laughs> so the thing is, the woman, she starts to think. She starts to develop emotional and emotional investment because she's like, why? She starts asking questions like, why is this guy? Why is this guy different? Why didn't he give me compliments like the rest of these dudes? He's different. I'm more interested to talk to him now. Let me play it back real quick. I heard someone say, it's so crazy how a woman can walk into a room with 10 different guys, showering her with compliments, telling her how beautiful and amazing she is, offering her everything they got, treating her like an absolute queen. See, that's the thing. <sighs> women, women know, women know that they are not the prize. Deep down, all women know that they are not the prize. They know that they are insecure, right? But they use the, the physical beauty card as a way to gain access to resources for their survival. So they have to act like they're the prize to gain the attention of the men who usually have the resources. You see what I'm saying? And then on top of that, when it's a bunch of dudes doing the same exact thing, giving her things easily, she doesn't have any respect for it. She loses all respect for it and it doesn't, it's not valuable to her. You get what I'm saying? Then all of a sudden there's this 11th guy who simply just walks in, says hi to her, turns his back and go talks to his boys. And you see, guys, I want to I want to make something clear. A lot of you guys, you know, especially guys who believe in choosing signals, you wouldn't even come and say hi. Right. You would think saying hi is validation and, yo, I don't validate women and blah, blah, blah. But you still have to you still have to put yourself out there. So the, so notice in this scenario, the 11th guy comes and says hi. He still he still acknowledges her presence. But he does something different from all the other guys. He turns around and goes and focus on what he's trying to do. You understand? And again, another thing that you guys should always remember is that a woman will focus on a man who is focused on himself, right? A woman will 
again, you still got to introduce yourself. You still got to put yourself out there. You still have to say, hey, what's up? My name is Miles. How are you doing? Oh, okay, cool, cool. All right. And then focus on what it is you came to do. You understand? With all the other guys, you know, uh, fawning all over her, she's going to be paying attention to the guy that said hello, but went on and did what he was focused on because that man has a direction. The other 10 men, she becomes those men's direction. But when a man has identity, when a man has a masculine identity, when a man has a direction, when a man has a purpose, the man goes about his purpose and focuses on himself. And he says to himself, well, you know, I see all the chicks in here and that's cool. And I'll introduce myself. I'll even strike up a conversation. But then after that, I'm gonna go and focus on what I'm here to do. So if I'm here to hang with my boys or chop it up with, with my dudes, you know, and, and talk about business or talk about whatever it is I'm trying to talk about, that's what I'm going to go do because that's what I'm focused on. Because a man who knows who he is has a purpose. And guess what? A woman is most attracted to a man who has a purpose. A woman is not attracted to a man who makes the woman his purpose. And that's a problem with so many dudes. So many dudes make the woman their purpose and direction. Once a man does that, he becomes unattractive in the eyes of a woman because the woman knows she's not the prize. She, secret, she, she secretly knows she's not the prize. But when you act like she's the prize, she knows that you're not the prize either. But when she sees the guy that has an identity and has a direction and has his own purpose and is focused on himself, guess what? She begins to focus on him as well. You understand? Because a woman is always following a man's lead. And if that man leads by focusing on himself and what he's interested in, the woman will follow suit and be focused on him as well. Let me just finish this up. And surprisingly, that's the guy the woman will choose. It's not surprising. Once you understand game, it's not surprising. Once you understand having a purpose makes you the most attractive. It's not surprising at all. All right. So what's your boy, Miles Cunningham? If you guys want to know a little bit more about having a masculine identity, go to masculineidentitymembership.com. With these reactions, there's things that I really can't say because I was going to really get into what a woman really thinks of herself. You understand? But I'll talk about that more on a Patreon. So hit the link in the description and follow me on Patreon, man. It's your boy, Miles Cunningham. Hope you're having a great day. Be good to yourself. And remember, the truth is inside you. Peace.